third, what happens next? What so happens the when they do get to whoever's operating the, the drone? The first thing we do is order them to bring the drone back, explain to them that there's a wildfire, and flying that drone during the wildland fire is actually a federal felony. The overwhelming majority of people are, are, are happy to comply. That's it for us today, but we'll be back tomorrow with our Sunday edition. We're going to preview President Biden's big trip to Saudi Arabia next week. You can listen on your favorite podcast app or your smart speaker. I'm David Ryan. Ryan. Talk to you next time. Personal finance. Two words that make a lot of people cringe. But money doesn't have to be intimidating. I'm Delia Barrows, host of Diversifying, a podcast that explores big questions about money. The ones we often don't ask, like how can we overcome a negative relationship with money? Or how does the immigrant experience shape the way we spend and save? Get a new perspective on your financial life. Listen to Diversifying wherever you get your podcasts. Hey everyone, I'm David Chalian, the CNN Political Director. This is the CNN Political Briefing. Here's what you need to know in politics for Friday, July 8th. President Joe Biden signed an executive order today aimed at protecting abortion access, also likely aimed at energizing Democrats to vote. Even before the Supreme Court of the United States made it official and handed down the Dobbs opinion, which, as you know, ended the federal constitution.